Hey guys, welcome to Android Tech Park YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how to fix iPhone keeps asking for Apple ID password. First solution is restart your iPhone. Launch settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down to general and tap it. Scroll down to shutdown and tap it. Drag the slide to power off slider to turn off your iPhone. Wait for few seconds and then turn on your iPhone. To turn on your iPhone, hold on the side button until the Apple logo appears. Second solution is update apps on your iPhone. First, connect your iPhone to Wi-Fi. Launch App Store on your iPhone. Select Today tab at the bottom of the screen. Tap on your profile icon at the top right corner of the screen. Then tap Update All to update all apps on your iPhone. Wait until the updating process is finished. Third solution is update your iPhone. First connect your iPhone to Wi-Fi. Open settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down to general and tap it. Here tap software update. Tap download and install if update is available. Wait until the downloading process is finished. Once the download finishes, tap install now. Fourth solution is sign out of Apple ID and then sign in. Launch settings app on your iPhone. Tap on your name. Scroll down to sign out and tap it. Enter your Apple ID password and then tap turn off. Select the data that you want to keep a copy of on your iPhone and then tap sign out. Again tap sign out to confirm. Then restart your iPhone. Now sign into Apple ID. Fifth solution is reset all settings. Open settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down to general and tap it. Scroll down to Reset and tap it. Here tap Reset All Settings. Enter your passcode and screen time passcode. Select Reset All Settings in the pop-up box. Again select reset all settings in the pop-up box to confirm. Wait until your iPhone restarts. Sixth solution is disable and enable FaceTime and iMessage. Open settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down to FaceTime and tap it. Turn off FaceTime and then go back to home screen. Then launch settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down to messages and tap it. Here turn off iMessage. Then restart your iPhone. 
Now turn on FaceTime and iMessage on your iPhone. Seventh solution is Factory Reset. Before trying this solution, know one thing that Factory Reset will erase all data from your iPhone. So before trying this solution, make sure that you have a backup of your iPhone. If you don't have a backup, don't try this solution. If you try this solution without taking backup, you will lose all data from your iPhone. Open settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down to general and tap it. Scroll down to reset and tap it. Tap erase all content and settings. Enter your Apple ID password and then tap erase. Select erase iPhone in the pop-up box. Again select erase iPhone in the pop-up box to confirm. Wait until the process is finished and then set up your iPhone as new. After trying these solutions, let me know which one is worked for you. Like and share this video and subscribe our YouTube channel.